And let's see if we can flip her. Let's flip her over and see if we can see her teeth. Oh, look at that. Oops, she didn't like that too much. Let's do that again. There are teeth. Oh, my. The bus room is a phenomenal opportunity for our kids to do hands on, minds on learning. It's an inquiry based room. So when kids come in, they get an opportunity to touch things, to kinesthetically observe, uh, to put in their scientific journals what they have the, uh, for evidence, uh, everything that they are participating in. It's way different than learning from a textbook. Um, textbooks are important, of course. But when we can bring the material to life, uh, it really adds that genuine learning component for kids. So we're very excited to have the hands-on, minds-on learning take place. We know that inquiry learning uh, is real learning. It's sustainable. We hope that it, it's, it's something that stays with kids all through their educational careers. And we want our kids to really question uh, the learning that takes place. We want them to be the kids at the dinner table who nonstop keep talking about their day because it was so exciting. And we really want to attract the kids that uh, are the kids that have the questions that say, Dad, why is this happening? Mom, why is this happening? Why is this happening? We want those kids to be a part of our program because we know that that's how learning takes place. It's, it's real authentic learning. So we've got um, 12 different species of animals in here, and they're all animals that we have um, used at the Bell Museum and we know that they work. Okay, so what does that mean? Um, I'm, I really favor cockroaches because um, they're incredibly diverse species of um, group of species. Um, they are very durable animals. So it's hard to kill cockroaches. And, um, and they show a lot of different kinds of behaviors and adaptations. You know, and they're all this one kind of group of organisms. So that's pretty neat to have that amount of diversity. So for comparing and... It hisses. Where's the little one? This one hisses. Oh, that's so little. Oh, cute. When you squeeze it on the sides, it makes a hiss sound. That's when it hisses. Science, and especially life science, especially natural history and, and, and behavior and things like that, are kind of incredibly complex for second grade, for third grade, um, well, and for all elementary kids. Um, because, you know, these are, these are essentially concepts that, that we start to really learn about in, in college, in undergraduate. So we have to make it really simple um, and understandable, uh, but we don't want to neuter the science. And so there's, there's a really fine line there to try to get it uh, both understandable and uh, interesting. Most uh, understandable, interesting, and really useful.